Hi, I'm Trish Shepard, and I'm in the winner's circle with Brent Holland. Brent is the driver of Dancer's Ideal in tonight's featured ninth race, the $85,900 Cardinal Stake. Brent, they tell me you're only 19 years old. Was becoming a harness driver something you wanted to do for a long time, or did you wake up one morning and say, gee, I'd like to drive horses? Well, uh, my neighbor was involved with horses when I was younger, and I used to always go down there and help out, and I've kind of wanted to drive horses for, say, eight years now, ever since I was a kid. Well, becoming a driver isn't all that simple. Could you tell the fans what you had to do to become a driver? Well, I had to send in for an application and uh, have uh, six horsemen sign their signatures for me saying that I, was, that I could handle horse good and be all right on the racetrack around other horses and drivers. And uh, then you have to go through a matinee license where you start or a qualifier license and have 12 of those before you can get your P's and start driving at paramutual races. That took a little while, didn't it? Yeah, it took uh, almost two years. We don't normally see you here on the Chicago circuit. Where do you normally race, Brent? I uh, normally race at, uh, in Ohio. Uh, I'm at Lebanon right now, and I go to Scioto in the summer. Could you tell us how you became connected with the horse dancer's ideal? Uh, I've known uh, the trainer, Bobby Grimsley, for somewhat a couple years now, and just kind of got hooked up with him being stable to cross tournament at Scioto Downs last year. And uh, he kind of helped me out getting qualifying drives and I did a good job for him, so he thought he'd bring me up here and help me out a little. Well, you've been doing a terrific job with the Colt. He's a, a very nice two-year-old, and I'm sure you know that best of all. What does it feel like to drive a young horse of his caliber? Uh, it feels great. It's just an unbelievable feeling to sit behind a young horse that's as fast as he is. I have to ask you, you came into the orange and blue stake at Sportsman's Park, which is 300 and some odd thousand dollars, and you're a young driver. Was there any pressure coming into the Chicago circuit facing more seasoned drivers? Uh, the, the 320,000 didn't bother me as much as first coming out here for elimination, and after, after that I was kind of all right, but I don't really look at the money as much as the race. Is there anything you're looking forward to accomplishing as a driver? Uh, yes, I'd like to win the Little Brown Jug. That sounds good, and I think you'll probably fulfill that goal. Wish you lots of good luck, and thank you for being in the winner's circle.